Back in 2021, state lawmakers passed House Bill 1775. It banned any curriculum or lesson plans that were designed to make students feel uncomfortable about their race, sex, or gender. Critics said it put teachers in a box, but today one state lawmaker says his bill is designed to put any concerns about 1775 to rest. We've gotten a lot of feedback about what we can teach, being afraid to step across the line. Um, this, this curriculum is not new this year, but I thought it was good timing to introduce it as a way to talk about something. State Rep Mark LePac brought House Bill 1397 before the House Committee on Common Education Tuesday afternoon. LePac says giving schools access to civil rights curriculum produced by an organization called The Good of All will provide teachers a way to teach accurate history while also not breaking the law. And in this, this particular case, it's MLK's focus in the civil rights movement, um, how he went about advocating for his cause, uh, nonviolence. If we're talking about MLK and nonviolence, um, which I appreciate, we ought to be talking about the other side of that and why it was relevant to talk about his nonviolence. And that's because of the violence that was perpetrated against him. House Democrats raised several concerns, not just over the curriculum, but also what standardizing the way the topic is taught would mean for teachers. We had some of the best educators in the state of Oklahoma who worked on the Oklahoma uh, academic standards. And I don't need folks who are legislators coming in saying, here's the right way to do this. The curriculum would be opt-in, meaning schools are not required to use it, but the author says it would give them a good option that they know would be legal. House Bill 1397 passed out of committee with a vote of 7 to 3.